You look awful. Have you been sleeping any? My best friend was murdered, boss. I don't have it in me to sleep right now. Two murders, one right after the other. How could I not be? Renju had his left eyeball removed. Right. Shoko too. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. You're missing your left eye, so you steal them from others. I'm kidding. Only a joke. I'm too tired for your jokes right now, Peter. Hmm. Actually, you lost your eye six years ago, correct? Yes, but I don't remember anything from back then. I lost my eye and my memories. I was transplanted into your empty eye socket a year later. We have been together for more than five years. Am I not allowed to be here? No, I didn't mean it like that. I was here first. I was just talking to the boss about Renju's murder. Of course not. I've still got a mountain of work piled up, answering to the higher-ups, the press. I'm just taking a little breather. She's sleeping at the hospital. They're going to give her counseling after she wakes up. I see. Her mother and her father. I hope she'll be okay. You were the first on the scene, so you know this better than anyone, but... Renju was murdered. No way this was a suicide. And the fact that his left eye was removed tells me that this was the same killer as Shoko. A serial killer. The new Cyclops killer. What? That's the nickname that's been spreading around headquarters. New? Yes. Several years ago. Pewter. There is no point in hiding it from him. He would find out on his own eventually. It's all over the news. These murders have gone viral, so to speak. The killings from six years ago have continued. The Cyclops killer is back. Six years ago? Is that what you were talking about, boss? Fine. I suppose you deserve to know. We have a name for it down at HQ. The original Cyclops serial killings. To distinguish it from this new one. It was six years ago in October. Four bodies were found in the mountains of Akikawa Valley. But the decomposition of the corpses were all at different stages. They were each killed sometime during May to September of that year. But they did have two things in common. They were all young women. And... Each corpse was missing their right eyeball. Pulled out posthumously. A few days after the corpses were discovered, the killer sent a statement to the press. I killed them, and they are now my dear companions. Something like that. He signed the statement under the name Cyclops. Hence the name, the Cyclops Killer. Yeah. 
The Cyclops is a mythological race of one-eyed giants. According to Greek myth, they are the children of Uranus, god of the sky, and Gaia, goddess of earth. Cyclopes were known for their outstanding strength and smithing ability. So the letter to the press wasn't a fake? It was the real killer? Yes, it had to be. A picture of one of the victims right after she was killed was sent along with the letter. No, in six years we never got a single trace. So maybe Cyclops is responsible for these murders as well. No, that's impossible. Why? For one, the original Cyclops killer only killed women. Renju doesn't fit that profile. Second, all of the victims had their right eyes removed. But Shoko and Renju... We're missing their left eye. The timing of the eye removal is also inconsistent. The original Cyclops killer removed the eyes after the victims were killed. But Shoko and Renju were both still alive. But even so, you can't say for sure this isn't our guy. Maybe they're just doing things a little differently now. Or do you have another reason? I'm sorry, Date. I can't say anymore. Bullshit, you can't. It's a national secret. How can it be a national secret? Date, please, forget about it. I told you already, you don't need to know anything about that case to investigate this one. The criminal for this case and the case six years ago are not the same. Iba, bring up all investigation records of the original Cyclops serial killings. I already had a look through the database while you were talking. Unfortunately, I found no relevant information. I also did not discover anything of note on the internet. Only amateur theories. All lacking credibility and evidence. Damn it. That's all we have for now. All right. Special Agent Date, we need you to continue your work. Right. I think I'll head back to where Renju was found, Sunfish Pocket. Date, you're exhausted. Why don't you get some sleep before you continue your investigation? I'm fine. Let's go, Iba. Understood. Date, the vehicle is accelerating 2% slower than usual. Did you put anything in the trunk? No. What about the back seat? Back seat? Mizuki! Hey, watch out! Ice forward, stupid! Date, what would happen if I grabbed the wheel and spun it super hard? We would spend the rest of our very short time together thinking about how stupid that was. Hey Date, why do they call it a dashboard? Because it makes the car go faster. Uh-huh. And why do they call it a tachometer? It measures how many tacos worth of revolutions the wheels spin. Because the tortilla is round. Obviously.
Is this where you keep your weird stuff? Oh, but don't look. Watch the road. I always have my head like this when I drive. You were looking forward before. No, I was just projecting an illusion. This is the real me. You project an illusion when you're by yourself? Well, I can still talk this time. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. Mizuki's psychological wounds have been healed by the sink. Ditch the hospital. They're probably freaking out over there right now. I'm taking you back. No, don't! Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. You're going to investigate, right? Take me with you, I can help! How is a little runt like you gonna be any help? I'm Renju's daughter. Maybe I'll notice something you don't, something only his daughter would know. I don't know. My daddy was killed. I can't just stay at the hospital. <sighs> Fine. But don't say I never did anything for you. You're going to take me along? Just promise not to interfere with the investigation. Got it. It wasn't locked. I just opened the door. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Why don't your doors have auto locks? I know you like old cars, but you gotta lock the doors. You should be a little more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. Mizuki does raise a valid point. If you are not more serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. You too? No, it's more like I don't like sitting still and moping all day. I've grown out of my brooding, pretentious teenager phase. Odd thing for a preteen to say. Are you not aware of Mizuki's mental prowess? She is far more developed than her classmates. She is even reading psychology papers by Alfred Adler. Sounds pretentious to me. Hey, about Renju. Do you have anything to tell me? Anything at all that might help? Well, it's not about Daddy, but... I heard from Daddy that Mom had a secret. Shoko had a secret? Did you know that Mom was the representative of an investment company? Yeah, I did. That whole company was a big scam. Scam? Well, I don't know the details. They start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. She got really rich like that. Shoko did this? Yep. By herself? No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. I saw gangsters there sometimes. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. Scanning all known crime databases, but I cannot find any reports referencing this. They must have been extraordinarily careful. I'm not okay. So, you want to go back to the hospital? I'd be more than happy to drop you off. That's not what I meant. Why are you always so pushy, Date? I'm not pushy, I'm just worried. You've got a weird way of showing it. It doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. You've always got something smart to say, huh? You're just like Renju. Date. What about Daddy? Nothing. You have no tact, do you? This is why you're single and always will be. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I look like a single father when you're around. Chicks love it. 
Yeah, chicks love to see creepy old men hanging out with a sixth grader. Hey, what are you implying? Ooh, did I make you mad? Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. I am not an old creepy pervert. And even if you were my age, you're not my type. Ew, I don't want to know about your type. Hey, you started it. Stupid old man. Punk-ass kid. Oh, Detective Date. Good to see you, sir. And this is... Have you looked through the case file yet? Oh, oh, I am so sorry. She's the victim's... Yes, please let us through. few days. I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, all right? You too, Detective Date. No, we didn't find anything today. What? I was asking for your name. My name is Kagami. Kagami? I told you, it's Kagami! I told you my name like five times! Hey you, what's your name? Seriously? It's Kagami. Stop bugging him, it's rude. Excuse you, my best friend uh, Kagami and I are having a conversation. Yeah, don't spoil our fun. What? Is that a... spear? It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. I believe this is a trident. Any chance this was used in the murder? No. There are no traces of blood on the trident, and no indication that Renji was stabbed. Dragon's Palace Pasta, 1800 yen. 1800? Isn't that pretty average? This is average? The capacity of this oil drum is 200 liters. 
It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Let me check inside. What? There's something inside. This is the oil drum. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. This is... This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. No doubt about it. But how did this get here? corpse was strung up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. But no traces of that have been found in the area nor on the corpse itself. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. Hmm. It must have been considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. What do you mean? Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. I can estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Iva, can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Of course. The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. It is a common sedative. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. This case bears similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. Strangulation? Correct. The face shows clear signs of congestion along with petechia around the face and throat. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. But more simply, the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Do we have an estimated TOD? Yesterday, around 8 p.m. So Renju was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. The time of discovery was 10.20 p.m. You of course already know this, but you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. 
There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. What are you staring at, creeper? I agree. Nothing special. Iba, can you check the operation records of this elevator? Searching. Found it. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55 p.m. The weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds.
Iba, did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, no. All of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. I think we've checked everything we need to. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. Well, there is one place. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the entertainment district? Daddy used to go to a place called Marble a lot. Maybe they know something about him. Yeah. Oda is in here all the time. He might know something. I'll call him. Ota's phone is broken. He dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. Yeah. Daddy owned Lemna Skate and Iris works for them. She used to work here too. So she might know something. I'll call her. Have any idea where she might be? I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. Lemniscate, Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Let's head out. Okay. <laughs> 